Brand new to Sophie Ellis Bexter, Lost in the Sunshine. Perfect timing for that to come out, this lovely weather. On the way, Terry the Truckers Pick Your Own Playlist. This is Radio 2 on the BBC Sounds app on your smart speaker and on 88 to 91 FM. BBC News at nine o'clock. This is Tina Dehealy. Energy firms have agreed a new code of practice which will stop them forcibly installing prepayment meters in the homes of anyone over 85. The regulator Ofgem brought in a temporary ban in February after debt agencies working for British Gas were revealed to be breaking into the properties of some vulnerable customers to fit them. The chief executive of Ofgem, Jonathan Brearley, said tougher regulations could follow if energy companies fail to comply. Your reputation is on the line. There has been deep concern raised about the practices that have been seen over the past few months and indeed going back into history. And if you do not improve what you do, quite frankly, there will be further rules and regulations which will be against your commercial interest. MPs say the role of racism in maternal deaths may have been underestimated by the government and the NHS. Research published last year found black women were four times more likely to die in pregnancy, childbirth or the period afterwards than white women. The senior midwife Donna Ockenden, who's been conducting independent reviews of maternity service failings over the past 10 years, says the problems are widespread. I hear from women on the ground that they do not feel listened to, their views are not acted upon, they're not at the centre of their care. And one woman said to me uh, last week, we're treated as hard to reach, but you know, actually we're easy to ignore. So I absolutely agree with the need um, for extra training. The Department of Health says it's focused on improving outcomes for all mothers. Wages rose by 6.6% in the three months to February compared with the previous year, according to the latest figures from the Office for National Statistics. The figure, which excludes bonuses, is higher than most economists were expecting, but rising prices mean earnings are still falling in real terms. The US Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, has spoken to the general's leading rival factions in Sudan and urged them to agree a ceasefire. More than 180 people have died in three days of fierce fighting. Many hospitals in the capital, Khartoum, are damaged and short of supplies. The UN Special Envoy in Sudan, Volker Perth, says the international community is continuing to push for an end to the violence. The good thing um, at this moment is that both are talking with us, not yet with one another. Uh, We are, as a United Nations, of course, we are concentrating on the humanitarian aspect of it. We are telling them that their own people, which they claim to fight for, the Sudanese, need to get out, need to stock up supplies. The weather patches of low cloud across large parts of the UK this morning will burn off to leave a dry day. Thicker cloud will return to southern England later on. That's the BBC News at three minutes past now. How are you feeling after your dancing experience, Tina Dehealy? Highlight of my morning so far. <laughs> you couldn't have had two better teachers, though, I have to say. And you look like a natural young lady. Oh, no, debatable. Promising, promising. You've not watched Succession yet, have you? From no, last time? I cannot oh, for wait. Goodness I sake. totally forgot because I was away at the weekend. Yeah. So Fair what enough. a treat tonight. Yes, I know. Another excellent episode. I shall say no more, but I love it. Hurry up and watch it so we can discuss. BBC Radio 2. I miss the days when we all watch telly at the same time so you could just talk about it the next day around the water cooler. It's impossible. Uh, how are you all doing this morning? I hope the sunshine has found your faces. Hi to Terry from Dundee. Terry is a lorry driver. He absolutely loves his music, goes to lots of gigs and he does a park run every weekend. I'll tell you something else he's done. He's picked his own playlist for you, especially this morning. These are the songs that keep him going whatever the weather, whether he's on the long and winding pothole roads or whether he's running down the roads uh, he's got a bit of madness the stranglers and the clash for you Terry in Dundee I've always liked him 